okay hello guys so this is the poco f4 gt or the other name is the redmi k 50g with the code name is ingress and in this video i will show you how to root this one okay it's using the mu 14 on android 13 so i have successfully installed magis on this one and also I don't have any problem install the uh, Elpos Universal Safety Net and also the Elpos model right here. Okay. So all the files and step I will put it in my blog. You can check the link in the description box. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask on the comment section. Okay. So stay tuned and check it out. Okay, hello guys, assalamualaikum. We'll meet again with Ombop, and today in my hand I have uh, the latest Xiaomi phone. This is the Poco F4 GT, or with the other name is the Redmi K50G. Okay, it has the code name of Ingress, and it's used the latest, uh, not the latest, but the high-end CPU it's using the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 okay and today we're going to try to root this one okay just for information when I'm making this video there is no custom recovery yet for this one and of course we don't have any custom ROM also so we're using the method that always work okay the pets boot me out <laughs> okay first thing to do like usual show you the exciting system okay you can see right here it's in using the mi 14 it's quite uh, new at this time and it's using android 13 okay let's go to the details it has 12 gigabyte of ram and <clears throat> 256 gigabyte of internal storage okay okay let's go back back again okay if you have not enabled it you can enable it by hit the me version five times go back okay additional settings and where is it developer options and make sure you have already Login using your Mi account right here. Okay, so I already logged the Mi account and it already seven days. Okay, so we're going to unlock the bootloader. Hey, okay. by the way, the phone is very smooth. The camera is very nice. It has a high refresh and it costs about eight million Indonesian rupiah. Uh, if in dollar it's about 315 US dollar if I'm not mistaken okay so next make sure you remove all the emails and for the next step we need to have the stop from for this one and we also need to copy the images into this one okay you can see right here it's using the mu 14.0.1 Indonesian version the LG IDXM so we're going to use we have to have the same stock firmware okay if you don't have the same stock where stock firmware like I do you can always pass the stock firmware after you unlock the bootloader so you're just going to use my put image okay the modify put image and now i already logged in into my account okay and then we need to have the stock rom you can see right here this is my stock rom the same person like in the pond okay you can get it from the show me from our update.com 
slash blah 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 okay i will put the link in the the description the description box you can find your firmware right here type indonesian or other region maybe uh china turkey and uh, global eaa is uh european union okay make sure you have download the uh, facebook rom okay <clears throat> and then next step you need to open the stock firmware extract the stock firmware to a folder so i already put it in here okay go to the image and we will find the boot image right here okay so we need to copy to file the boot image and also images okay and here i'm, I'm going to use the uh, magis delta canary but feel free to use other magis versions such as the official alpha canary and other stuff okay let's copy to the folder okay i'll put it into the download folder right here let's copy the delta canary apk and also the boot image okay done and now let's switch back to the pun okay now let's find the file manager okay uh where is it uh, forgot file manager okay and if you get to a folder where you copy the file okay so i put it to the document folder select the delta canary and hit install okay and after it finish you can open it uh, okay allow it select the install menu right here hit the select and patch file okay and find your uh, boot image okay i put it in the document and select the boot image okay hit let's go it will start patching the boot image and the result will be written into the download folder uh the file name will be magis underscore patch blah 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 and here we go now this is our internal storage and this is the modify boot image okay let's copy the file and put it into the save place and it's quite large you know about 200 megabyte <laughs> okay done <clears throat> and next step we need to turn off the phone so we can go to the face boot and do the unlock bootloader okay now we are in the face boot mode and i already log in to the mail account let's hit the unlock button wait for five seconds and then give it confirmation and wait for five seconds again okay will start the countdown and when it finishes it will automatically reboot to the stock recovery and format the internal storage okay so let's close this one and wait until it pawn boot it okay you can see right here it formatting the one and i don't want to wait into the home screen so i will force the pawn to reboot again into the best boot but yeah. like usual press the form down and the power button at the same time yeah, where is it there okay let's put it down plug the usb cable again then let's open the cmd or powershell <clears throat> let's tap fast boot space flash space boot and just click and drag the modify boot image 
into our command prompt. Uh, sorry. Fast boot. And it will flash the uh, fast boot. Okay. Done. Now the fast boot space reboot. And the pawn will automatically restart. And we should wait. Let's go to the home screen. And here we go. Now we are in the home screen again. Now let's open the file manager. So I already copy several files into this internal storage. Okay, so let's install the Delta Canary. Give it permission. Okay, uh, wait for 10 seconds. Okay, it's kind of annoying, you know. <laughs> This kind of stuff. Okay, let's install the apps. When and when it finishes, you can open the apps, and it usually will ask to require additional setups like this. Okay, you just hit OK, and it will automatically reboot in five seconds. Okay. Okay, this one is quite heavy because it has a large battery and it supports uh, fast charging I think from 0 to 100% just need about 17 minutes okay. as you read here there is a picture it means that the pawn has been unlocked <clears throat> okay so this is me uh, 14 and I think it is a uh, nice ROM better than the Mew 12 or 13 that uh, <laughs> I said it is fail you know Mew 12 and 13 and 14 is good quite fast enough okay now let's open the magis right here and here we go our magis has been successfully installed okay you can enable the JGs right here enable bootloop protection and the function of bootloop protection if you fail to install a model that doesn't compatible usually you will get bootloop and you must fix it using the ADB command from your computer but with this facility if the model fail and cannot restart or bootloop for a couple of minutes it will automatically remove the models okay quite nice so let's install another apps okay okay let's install what else uh Road checker just for fun root beer safety net and other stuff okay i usually will disable the first definition because it will make uh, the pawn slower okay let's install root beer and safety net okay then let's open the root checker <laughs> Super user grant okay your blah 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 is rooted on on the routine. Okay, let's open the root beer. Subinary blah 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 yeah, your pawn is rooted. Okay. And of course the safety net also doesn't pass because the pawn has been unlocked. Okay. Nice. That's all guys. If you want to hide the root checker and other stuff, you can always enable it in the settings right here. And enable the, where is it? The magic hide, okay, from here. Okay, that's all. I hope it helps you. See you in the next video. Assalamualaikum.